In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the metric staircase to convert between metric measurements. As you can see, it looks like a staircase. Now my middle stair is my base unit, so that could be meters, liters, or gram. If I wanted to convert between grams and milligrams, I'm given 5 grams, so I'm going to start on the gram stair. Gram is one of my base units, so I'm starting right there. I'm converting to milligram, so I'm looking for that small m, which is down there. And I'm going down one, two, three stairs. Since this is just like multiplying by 10 for each stair, I actually just have to move my decimal place to the right three times. One, two, three. So I'm going down three stairs, which means I'm moving the decimal to the right three times. So I'm starting at five. We can always assume our decimal place is right after the number. I'm moving it over three to the right. One, two, three. And then I can fill in my spots with zeros. So five grams is 5,000 milligrams. Let's look at another one. Starting with 20 meters, and I want to know how many kilometers that is. Meter, again, is one of my base units, so I'm starting on my base, and this time I'm going up the stairs to kilometers. One, two, three stairs. That's just like dividing by 10 each time, which actually means I'm moving my decimal to the left three spots. So if I'm starting with 20, I can assume my decimal place is on the end, and I'm moving it to the left three times. One, two, three. That last one, I'm going to have to fill in a zero. So 20 meters is actually 0 0.020 kilometers. Example three is converting from liters to milliliters. Liters, again, is one of my base units. So I'm starting on my base stair. And I'm converting to milliliters, which is my small m. So how many stairs am I going down? One, two, three stairs again, and because I'm going down, I'm moving my decimal to the right three spots. So I'm starting with 2.5, and I'm moving it to the right three spots. One, two, three. My decimal will be there, and I can fill those in with zeros. So 2.5 liters is actually 2,500 milliliters. A few more examples. 4.5 meters going to millimeters. Meters is my base. I'm going to millimeters. So I'm going down one, two, three spots. If I move my decimal place over one, two, three, I'm going to be left with 4,500 millimeters. Okay, if I just erase those. Starting with my next one, I'm going from centimeters to millimeters. Okay, so this time I'm not starting on the base stair, I'm starting on the centimeter stair. And I'm moving down to millimeters. So because I'm moving down one stair, that means I'm moving the decimal one place to the right, which is actually leaving me with 3.34 millimeters. Okay, and let's erase my stairs. 12.5 meters, converting to centimeters. So meter is my base stair. And this time I'm going down to the centimeter stair. So let's count. One, two. Two stairs down, which means two decimals to the right. And I'm going to be at 1,250 centimeters. Erase my stairs. I have 1.5 liters of the base unit, and I'm going all the way down to decimeters. So starting at my base, I'm moving one stair to the right, and remember, if we're going down the stairs, our decimal goes to the right. So one spot, 15 liters, is 15 decimeters. I'll erase my stairs. 
and now I'm going from meters to kilometers. Meters is my base, and kilometers is one, two, three stairs to the left, which means I'm going one, two, three spots, which is going to leave me with five decimal six nine four. And the last one, I'm converting from centigrams to milligrams. Centigram is my stair right there, going down one to milli. Because I'm going down the stair, I'm moving my decimal one place to the right. I can assume it's right after the 37. So now I'll be at 370 milligrams. And that is the basics of the metric staircase. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.